I hope all of you are doing well. Welcome to e-learning. Today, for the session, I will be taking class 8 English. The name of this lesson is The Refugee. Now, just imagine that due to some unusual circumstances in your city, you have to leave everything and travel to a different city. How would you feel? In today's chapter, the story is going to take us through the experiences of such people who have been forced to leave this country and live in another one. Now, let's begin with this lesson. Chapter 5, The Refugee Due to a recent flood, there was mass relocating and uprooting of peasants from their homeland. They were forced to trudge forlornly towards an alien country and take refuge in an unknown environment to have any chance of survival. The refugees were filled with pain of losing everything and the only life they had ever known. On the other hand, the city people were both apathetic and enraged at the ever-increasing number of the refugees. This anger was born out of fear as the refugee problem has stretched their supply and resources and even seemed to have an impact on their livelihood. These circumstances have led to an atmosphere of mutual suspicion and tension. Now, the city dwellers look on with anger as another fresh horde of refugees enter their city. They were a group of well-groomed and well-dressed people. Each carried a lot of two baskets slung on a pole across their shoulder. The baskets were filled with clothes, quilts, folded blankets, and iron cauldron. But even though their faces narrate a struggle with poverty and starvation, they are not looking or seeking for any aid. They seem to be enveloped in stupor of grief-stricken numbness. In this long procession was an old man. He was slower than the rest of the group and was struggling to keep up with them. Suddenly, he could go no more and drops his load near a food vendor who was selling noodles. Seeing his plight, a passerby inquires about his condition. Even though the stranger was poor himself, he was kind and gives the old man two coins, one silver and one copper. This pricked the self-esteem of the old man and he claimed that he does not intend to beg for help. He explained that the people in his country are starving and became homeless due to massive flood and out of hunger had eaten up their seeds even though the old man had advised them not to do so. The generous stranger dropped the money into the old man's apron and went on his way sighing. The old man decided to use the copper coin to buy some noodles from the food vendor. He takes a small bowl of noodle and throws it near his basket covered with a blanket. When he uncovers it, the vendor sees a small boy inside. He was the old man's grandson, the only surviving family of the old man. After the boy finishes off the noodle, the old man cleans up the few pieces stuck to the rim of the bowl to feed himself. The puzzled vendor asks him the reason for not spending the silver coin for food. The old man turns to the vendor and replies that the silver coin is to buy new seeds so that his people could cultivate their land again. He says that the survival of his grandson and future depends on flourishing fields and plentiful harvest and not on few balls of noodles. The fact that the old man might not live to see it was a sacrifice he was ready to make. He then got up and continued his long and toilsome walk forward. 
So, what do we learn from the story? The moral of the story is that no matter how tough things may seem, the only way to go is forward. Thank you. Stay home and stay safe.